Hello everyone, hopefully the world is treating you kindly. I want to come to you today to do another book review, which I think is going to be one of my um, claim to fame, if you will, because I've been doing a lot of reading and research, so I like to share good books by good authors and good reading and sometimes they're not so good, which may be not so good to me, but may be useful or good to someone else. But today I want to start off saying just to be very um, aware of different signs that may come about in the world. I had an incident that I want to share. I'm taking a botany class, which I am super excited about, and it is so much fun. I'm learning about plants and herbs and all those things that I think that will enhance my magical and my spiritual works. So that's a beautiful thing. But in the class, for extra credit, we had to go to donate blood. So I've never donated blood before, so I decided to go in to donate blood. Um, my iron was just uh, at the amount that they needed, but I was informed at that point that my blood pressure was elevated. So, um, actually the clerk there just said, from a personal point of view, go and just have your blood pressure checked. I've never had issues with blood pressure, none of that in my life. So I was like, okay, no worries. I was going out of town. So I went out of town and when I came back, a friend of mine reminded me, hey, did you go and get your blood pressure checked? And I'm like, I'm um, not yet. Cause again, I'm coming back, I'm working, I'm busy. And that's just my life, you know? But one thing I've learned that I have to slow down and take care of myself. So I went in to um, have my blood pressure checked and oh my God, it was elevated beyond what it should have been, much, much higher. So I wanna encourage everyone out there to follow their mind, follow their body and take those little notes that the universe give you and follow up on them because they could really, literally save your life, you know, or enhance your life. So I'm grateful for that. So. I want to do everything I can to um, fix my ailment. I already eat pretty healthy. I'm going to try to cut down on some of my stress, which I have been stressing more than I ever have due to some personal issues, but meditating, do more of my meditating, walking. You can see I'm out here in nature. That always calms me down. So I just wanted to give that little public announcement just for you guys out there to um, maybe take heed to little signs you may get that may help you. But without further ado, today I want to review a book and it is called The Encyclopedia of Spirits. And it's by Judith, Judica Isles. Hopefully, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. I-L-L-E-S. Anywho, this book is in my library. It's a book that I can totally just go to and just do research on. It is a book. It has so many different uh, deities in the book. Like here, for instance, there's Krishna here. And what's really cool about the book is that it'll give you the origin, which is India. It'll give you the manifestation. It will give you offerings, sacred sites, color, attributes, a host of different things besides any deity that you're looking for. The deities are listed in alphabetical order. So it's a lot of knowledge just to get you started. There's probably about a paragraph or maybe a page and a half, sometimes two pages, depending on the deity in the book. But good information just to get you started if you come across a deity that you may want to um, really do more research on. This would be a great starting point. Or if you hear about a deity or a goddess or, you know, anything of that nature, you may have this as a quick reference just to kind of you know get you started like for me I was watching a video the other night and Lilith came up and I had no idea who Lilith, Lilith was but she seemed quite interesting I guess supposedly the first um, wife of Adam so I have to do more research as I go along with that as it comes but it was a quick reference to go to this book, look it up, you know, do a little more research and just get the basics of what I needed to know. And then if I want to go further, I would do that. If not, I have some basic knowledge on what I am researching. The beginning of the book 
it has like realm of spirits if you see the realm of spirits here it has um, secrets of secret lives of spirits just a lot of good information that you may want to read upon um, spirits uh, permeate our language the public face of spirits so to give you a little bit more information on working with spirits and things of that nature which are all around us which we all are so this book I would definitely give a five out of five because it's simply a good reference book it's nice thick sturdy and it looks like a dictionary so it's going on my bookshelf in my room and that's where I put all of my immediate references that I want to look up you know while I'm doing my research and today I have on all you need is love with the scissors which is I'm a hairstylist as well so I love this shirt and I love to wear this shirt because I just um, exude and give the message of love like all we need is love so I love to wear this shirt makes me feel good and it makes me um, just put that energy out into the world and working with a set um, Isis and the woman of a million names which is a deity I am looking into and working with now which I am so in love with but her underlining uh, message is unconditional love which I'm working really really hard um, to exude unconditional love and the idea and the premise that love is all we need and not to focus on so many of, of the material things what we have of course we all like to have nice things but at the end of the day um, are they gonna progress our ascension are they gonna bring us real uh, peace and real love you know and not keep us captive and stressed out on how we're going to obtain them or keep them so I hope that you enjoyed this quick message for today I just wanted to give you a quick book review I have many more books lined up and I'll just pop in whenever I feel like I need to give a message out to the universe um, so hopefully this video finds you well and you have a blessed rest of this year and a good holiday season Take care. Bless.